Good evening. I'm Chuck Henry. I'm Kathy Barr in for Colleen. The key witness in the prosecution of Ed Buck says he is uncomfortable with being called a hero. Investigative reporter Eric Leonard joins us right now here on set with more on what he had to say. Eric. Well, Joe Doe has now signed in at a drug rehab facility and says he's hoping to return in a few months to the person he was before he met Ed Buck. His testimony was key in making the arrest a few weeks ago and will be critical at trial. I'm glad, you know, for the first time in a while that I've seen that um, justice is being served properly. This is the man who gave local authorities the information they needed to arrest Ed Buck last month. He says he knew the moment he decided to cooperate with authorities, he had to put his life back on track. Once I, I went down to the sheriff's station, I knew what was going to be coming next. Joe Doe, who doesn't want to show his face or share his name yet, says he's committed to breaking free from drug use so he can be a reliable witness whenever Ed Buck goes on trial. So I can be able to be, stare him in the face or stare a prosecutor in the face and be ready for whatever that they try to throw at me. And I can stay strong knowing that I'm doing everything that's right. On September 17th, L.A. County D.A. Jackie Lacey said it was Joe Doe's information that gave authorities the break they needed. It gave legally sufficient evidence to establish the charged crimes. Then Buck was turned over to federal prosecutors, who yesterday announced Buck had been indicted on five charges. Two counts of distributing methamphetamine that resulted in the deaths of Jamel Moore in 2017 and Timothy Dean in 2019. Three counts of distributing meth to other men, including Joe Doe last month. Doe also says while he was staying with Buck, the two went on the run in July after he says Buck was tipped off that there might be an arrest. The attorney told him that he needs to go on a run, get out the state, do something, but, you know, they're coming to get you. And so he decided not to run out of state, but to, you know, go to various motels and um, disappear for a few days. Now, it's not entirely clear who gave this information to Ed Buck. His longtime attorney hasn't responded to our questions. Buck is being held with no bail. He could face decades in federal prison, in fact, up to life in prison if he's convicted. Uh, the NBC, NBC4 I team, of course, has been following this case for months, and uh, we're trying to keep track of every single development. Joe Doe, by the way, talked to us on his way to rehab. He's going to be gone for months. Thank you. You know, I'm glad you mentioned that because there's a lot of people that want to know more about this case. And, of course, you can find it if you go to our website, NBCLA.com, or on our NBCLA app, you'll find it right there.